in this video we'll be looking into gateway for microservices and how that works and as usual i'll be going through the theory first and then we'll just implement a small app where i uh, will use a gateway service specifically to route all the requests to any service and then just return the response so this is um, not exactly production level but you could take this as a demo application and you could build upon this but i would not say that this is a production this it can this can be very useful for projects but yeah uh, let's get started and yeah here is the first let me throw this up here's the first diagram so this is like there's a client and there are three services running and if a client wants to get or you want or you can see if he wants to call one service he could just make a call to that service so the thing here is that uh, each service will be in a separate location maybe like each has a separate ip address and this client needs to find needs to know what uh, where this service belongs like it needs to know the ip address of that service so usually there are three services here so it's okay fine i mean we could uh, know what are they but uh, usually if you can uh, like there are some examples like uh, for example there's dynamic ip what happens in that is that um, a service or an, an ip is dynamically changing ip so it changes periodically so we have to be updated um, what the service uh, ip is so this as i said is very quite simple there are just three services and it's all fine until there are these many services so if there are like a ton of services and each runs a different type of um, you could say architecture on it so one runs uh, http and one runs tcp so each call from the client has to be designed specifically to accommodate that um you could say that service uh, request so the problem with this is that if your code base is large uh, if it's really large or if you can see if it's modularly large then um the problem is that the client needs to modify his request calls and if you are changing a service um, let's say you're changing a service from web sockets to http then you have to change the client's uh, request pattern as well so that's a big headache uh, if you take because you know it's really hard to uh, if you could say this is not a maintainable code right so we have to there has to be some kind of pattern where we can manage this and that is when gateway comes in so gateway is something which which acts like an entry door uh, as the name says gateway so it's like an entry door for the client so the client need not know what uh, any of the inner workings of the services it can just call this gateway uh, with some details so that we can route this client request to that specific service so what will be the responsibilities of this gateway um the responsibilities might be like uh, this gateway has to know what are the ips of this each each and every service and it has to take care of error um, detection and uh, correction so that's one thing and these are some like basic um, responsibilities the gateway has so how does this gateway know what ip does this service each service belongs to so that's where we have another entity with that's called as a service registry so in a service registry we have like a mapping to each service to an ip so this we can update like if the product services ip changes then we can just update it here so that the gateway knows what is the updated um, ip so this is like a table where we have um, each service is mapped to an, an ip so so that anyone can refer or not anyone but yeah the gateway can refer to this uh, table anytime so in this project we'll actually not be building this because this is uh, quite complex and not needed for our project but uh, we'll be looking into some patterns that can be implemented uh, and there are also some um, entities which belong to this service registry so one is like there are two uh, ways in which we can use the service registry one is using the client side and other using the server side so client i mean it's called as client side discovery so discovery in the sense we are discovering the ip address or the location of the instances or you could say the services and uh, let's say we have this is the cl client discovery so what this does is that uh, before even um, i mean we have seen that without the gateway the client just you know uh, manages to pull a request put a request to the service directly and with service registry what happens is that we will first um, request or ping the service registry to know what the ip of the instance or the service we are uh, making and then we will make the next request to that specific instance or the service so that's what client discovery is so server is discovery is quite simple but uh, it's actually same but uh, instead of client making a 
call to service registry the server makes it server in the sense we have a load balancer here so there would be a load balancer so the client will uh, not will not know about any of this so we have a load balancer this load balancer can also be a gateway so that's uh, up to the team or the developers to uh, make that decision but in this case let's take that there's a load balancer and the client just requests the uh, microsoft and the service to uh, request for to send the request for so the load balancer takes the request and then pings the service registry to know the location of the request and then it uh, routes the request to that instance or service so this is what happens with service discovery so the app that we are going to be building is quite simple there are three entities in this so one is the profile service so which is, this is basically uh, like a service which gives the information of the current logged in user so for this we will not be using any authentication service but we will just using some hard coded user um, data and this is associated with the profile queue i mean each service has a queue for itself so this there is an order service and it has an order queue for itself the gateway also has a queue and each every other service makes request to or you could say send messages to and from this queue so basically what will happening will be happening is that we'll be having apis in our gateway and we'll be using the queues in the other services to make or to get results to the so that we can send the response back to the client so i have created a new folder which is known as gateway microservice or ms so right now this is empty so i want to create three directories one is uh, the order service and profile service and the gateway service so gateway itself is a service because you know it's a separate entity so so we have created three um, folders first let's look into the gateway service so we are inside our gateway service and let's init a package.json and now we can install express and amqp lib which is the library for rabbitmq so let's see we have yeah we have the package uh, we have node module so we can create a folder i mean a file called index.js and let's fill the boilerplate for node.js file and create a instance of express and we have a port so i'll be running this on port 5000 and let's listen to that port Let's say server at this port. Let's save that and so we have to connect to uh, AMQP library. So we have so if you have Docker installed, we can just do it using Docker. Let's say Docker uh, run name. Uh, let's say it's RabbitMQ and the port. It's going to be 5672 and we'll map that to 5672 and let's call this as rabbitmq image should take a while if you're running this for the first time so it started up we can just go and connect that so to connect we need the amqp qp we should require that lib and to connect we'll write a function let's say connect and amqp server is equals to amqp slash slash localhost and the port which is 5672 let's create some variables here so that we can access them everywhere so connection and channel await amqp dot connect to the amqp server and the channel would be await connection dot create channel await channel dot assert queue let's say gateway the name of the queue so what this does is that it creates if there is no queue called gateway it creates it for us since we are using await we have to use it in an async function so let's do that and let's just call it by saying connect so what we're going to do is we are going to create a root so this is going to be get slash 
and we're going to have request and response so what we're going to have is that we have we're going to have a query parameter which is let's say call so this tells us uh, which type of i mean which service to which service to direct to so for example the url is http localhost 5000 slash or you could say qu a question mark call is equals to order to say that this call is going to be in order or you could say call is equals to profile so that to route this to profile so to we could do that so we can just say if call is equals to order do something or you could say just else if call is equals to profile do something so first uh, let's let's see what we're going to do if the call is an order for the, for the order service what i want to do is um i would be mimicking or you could say simulating the client will be sending us some order details and we'll be giving that to the order and this uh, order adds an id to it and then it also attaches the the profile of the user to that order and then it returns back to the gateway and back to the client so that it can know uh, the user related to it and uh, some the order id for that so that it can use to make future calls so that's what we're going to we are going to do so here what we're going to do is we're going to mimic as i said we are going to create some fake order which is going to come to client come from the client so the fake order is going to be there's going to be name let's say name is something let's say order one and price for this is let's say 2500 so we're going to use this fake order to send to the order um let's say the order service so you could do that by just saying channel dot send to queue so to which queue you want to send i want to send it to the order queue we haven't created this yet but this is we want to this should we should name this as order and we have to send this uh, in a f in the form of buffer because the second argument is a buffer so we have to say buffer dot from we have to stringify the json in order to get the buffer from it so let's say fake order so you have sent the um, channel to queue and now we have to consume from that queue so let's look into that but let's also go back and then uh, create an order service so let's go back into the root service we have gateway service order service let's go into the order service and let's do the same let's init it and i'm going to install express and amqp liv So we have our package.json and node modules. So instead of creating no index.js again from scratch, what I want to do is I'm going to copy the index.js file from the gateway service index.js to this folder. So we have an index.js. We can just go in and just change the port first. I want to run this in at port 5001 and the connection would be same, but we would not be having the fake order or the APIs. I want this order service to consume as soon as it connects so I could just say then and then start consuming so let's make this an async function if it requires so we could now say channel so to consume we could say just say consume channel dot consume uh, I think yeah we have the variables we would say consume from from which queue also we have to change the queue which is quite important let's say order so we have to consume from which queue in our case it is order queue and we get the message coming back from the queue so what i want to take is i want to take out name price uh, from the from this data but what happens is that we are sending the buffer not the content so what we could do is we could say json dot content dot to string to get the uh, buffer in the form of string and we could just do json dot parse in order to get change that string into a json object so from that json object we can just take out name and price 
so we that so we have the name and price we could attach an id to it so let's say um let new order is equals to we have a name which is name and price we can just do name price and we have an id now or you could say order id which is let's say one two three abc this is actually something which should be generated from the database right? so it's okay and now what i want to do is we have we have attached the order id to this but one thing is remaining which is we have to attach the user's uh, profile so the de user details from the profile service so as you might have guessed what we will be doing is that we'll be sending this new order object to the profile service and then profile service attaches the user object and then it returns it back to the order service and we will uh, return that complete object to back to the gateway service so that's what we're going to do here what we're going to do is we are similar to the gateway service we say where we send the data to order service in order service we are going to send the data to profile service so we could just say channel dot send to queue this time it's going to be profile service profile and similar to that we are going to send its capital b buffer dot from and json dot stringify the object is going to be the new order object so let's go to the let's create a profile service and then handle this so let's go back again and we have the profile service so let's actually copy the package.json from this to profile service so that we could just go into profile service and do npm install because we have the package of json it knows what what to install the express and amqp library and also let's copy the index.js file from the order service back and order service index.js to this uh, folder so now we have uh, index.js let's go in there and similarly we have to change the port we have because these are three different services they run on three different ports so let's make it this uh, let's make this to 5002 and we have to we are creating a new queue so let's name this as the profile as profile yeah so again we'll be consuming from profile queue not the order queue let's uh, remove this how we created a fake order in the order service we're going to be creating a fake user because we don't have the we don't have any real user now so let's say fake user is equals to an object so he has a name let's say mano and user id let's say mano one two three four and let's say last logged in is zero three zero nine twenty twenty one so that's the object so we're consuming from profile so we're getting the data also from the order service so as i said we will be getting the data in data dot content dot to string and we can just json dot parse this name this as data and let's say this as message so we have data with us now this is message dot content we could just attach our user object to this data so we could just say data dot user is equals to this fake user so let's make this let and we have used a fake user here so now we have attached the fake user to this object and what we are going to do is we are going to send this back to the order service so let's say channel dot send to queue now we are going to send this to order service and this is going to be buffer dot from json dot stringify uh, we are going to stringify the data object that's it we have sent this to order queue so let's go back to the order service and we have sent it to the profile queue and now profile service is sending us with uh, the attached and the complete object right right now gateway service has called this uh, consume for so right now gateway service has called order service and profile queue or the profile service has called the order service so how do we differentiate this like which service is calling which service so we can have uh, another parameter or you could say uh, another argument kind of thing so when the profile is sending us with this fake queue we can actually consider an argument so when consuming from from the profile queue we can actually check if the data 
dot call let's say uh, has let's say um, user profile or let's say order with user so this is when we want to attach our user object so we'll do that if we have that call then we will do this else we'll do something else which, which we'll be looking into let's save that and right now what we are um, let me explain like what we are doing here so in order to know which service is calling which uh, so right now there is profile service and there are like possibilities that order service could call profile service and also gateway service could call profile service so in order to identify which service is calling which service we are so we are having a uh, you could say an argument or a, or a flag kind of thing so that we could uh, for in this case we are having order with user which means that uh, we have to attach the user object with the order object which which is what we are doing exactly here so we know that we this so technically we are knowing that this is coming from the order service so right now we are not sending anything with from the order service so let's go into order service and we can also say uh, with this new order we could just say new order dot call is equals to order with user um, is that what we give yeah order with user so this new order dot call because the data is new order here the new order dot call will have this order with user which is exactly what we want so now the order service has to handle the call coming from the profile service right so let's handle that now if you see we are sending this user with this data to the order queue so we can actually destructure this as well the user so now uh, there is actually this case if there is an user existing like if there is a user coming from uh, this data so because we are first we sent from gateway to order service there was no user right so this use this case only specifies or satisfies the so the call coming from the profile service so we could just uh, if there is a user then what we could do is we could uh, attach the user to our existing new order and then send that to gateway service so let's do that let's say new order dot user is equals to user and then we can say channel dot send to queue i want to send it to gateway queue and it's buffer dot from json dot stringify the new order so this is else if there is no uh, user If there is no user i will just send it to the profile queue or else i'll send it send the data to gateway queue back so you could say this is to the profile queue and this is to the gateway queue so now we are uh, handling the data we, i mean we are sending the our uh, data back to the gateway queue let's go and handle the data consu consumption in gateway queue so here we are only sending the queue or you could say we are only sending data to queues but you're not handling that so to handle this because we are sending a response from this we could it will be better if we write a function to handle or to consume the data from uh, different services so let's write function consume gateway queue and what we're going to do is we are going to so right now what we are having is that the order service is sending us the complete object back with the user uh, attached so we want that so it's uh, actually similar right because we could do data we could do json dot pass data dot content dot to string and we could actually store this in data So actually before this we have to consume this so we have to say channel dot consume so which queue are we consuming so this is gateway service so we are consuming gateway queue and a message comes with that so let's move this up so this data should have a call variable with that attached so if we go back to let's save this and see our order service so while sending this we are not having any call to this so here we are having the call but uh yeah i think we should have the column not sure let's console.log the data i think here it's message not data so let's uh 
here we can just say consume gateway queue yeah let's open another tmux tab and then we have three services let's go uh, let's do node gateway dot service index.js and open another tab and let's do auto service index.js and let's open a horizontal tab and let's do profile service index.js i know we could um, we could just hit the slash root from our browser at port 5000 let's uh, move this new order up so that it's accessible by every if it's accessible here inside if and else and uh, i think we should restart this so let's actually run with nodemon auto service slash index slash index and okay we are getting two objects here i will tell you why actually so yeah we are getting user order id price and name so this is right inside this gateway queue this does not have a call so we can add a call from the order service so here we could just say new order dot call is going to be um, let's say order with user so if we go back to the gateway queue and then now we can check if data dot call is equals to order with user we can have an if and else so if it is uh, an order with user what we can do is we can just uh, return the user or we can return the order which we are receiving so we can actually have a callback let's call it cb and we can just call back it by saying cb of data and we can actually delete data dot call because we don't want don't need that anymore so after consuming uh, date gateway queue this function is actually having one callback function so we could have a function inside this and say it's an anonymous anonymous function so we could just say um let's say what can we say data yeah we could say data so we could say let's have a variable here which is order so we could just say order is equals to data and here we could just say return rest.json of order let's uh, see if this works and also one important thing i forgot to tell is that every time we are sending or inserting into queue we have to acknowledge the data which is coming back so here we are sending to queue and here we are consuming so when we are consuming we have to say channel dot ack of message so that we acknowledge that message if we don't acknowledge you can see how many uh, orders are pending inside the queue right so it goes on and on until we acknowledge so we could either do that or we could either specify uh, no uh, no need of any acknowledgement while we are uh, starting up the uh, amqp server so for now let's just acknowledge that in every other uh, service as well when we are consuming the data with we can just say channel dot ack of data and let's do that for profile service as well let's go here and let's say channel dot ack of data and yeah i think let's go back let's let's say node mon gateway service slash index.js and let's restart this node mon profile service index.js okay we have an error so we can't access data for initialization so let's see what's that so okay this is message not data okay so let's send the request again so now you can see we are receiving the response let me zoom it yep you can see we are receiving the response and also we are not we are receiving the user object this is from the profile service and this order id it's from the order service and this is what the fake uh product was or the fake user watch was so um we are, you can also see that there is no call property in this because we have deleted the call property so here 
we have deleted the call property so this is what uh, how uh, gateway works basically so now let's do another thing for uh, we have the call is equals to order so let's do this for profile as well so what this would accomplish is that uh, we, we in this gateway service we are having this else call for profile oops yeah for profile service what you're going to do is we are going to ask the service to send us the current user and we are just going to return that current user to the client so that's what we're going to do so we can just send channel dot send to queue now we're going to send to queue profile service and what are we going to send we are going to send an object uh, we can shrink the object and this object it will have just a single property it's called call and the call is user profile so let's open profile service so this time the call is not order with user so it goes into this else call else block so here what we can do is we can just say or you can just insert this fake user into the gateway queue so we could do that by saying channel dot send to queue of gateway and the buffer is going to be buffer dot from um, it's json dot stringify and the fake user we want to send the fake user back and that's it actually so we are sending to this but you're not actually consuming it so here also we are not having any call so the this time there's no call from the profile service because we are sending the fake user object the fake user object does not contain any call property so here the data dot call would be not possible so it goes into the else block and we can just say cb of data All right now we are having just a callback of if and else so there is no need of if and else actually but we are just doing it so so as to maintain so differentiate which service it's coming from so this is profile service and this is coming from order service so that's the difference here so let's call back of data and we have to consume that here so let's say consume gateway queue and function of data back and we have to actually say um, let's say fake user is equals to data let's create a fake user variable here and let's return that saying return rest.json of fake user so we are returning the fake user so let's see if this works we have restarted this let's go back and we have called the profile and yeah it, it's working right so we have the user object only which which is coming from the profile service an overview what's happening uh, we are we are from the gateway service or from yeah from the gateway service we are sending these two properties name and price to the order service the order then attaches the order id to it and then sends it to the profile service and then profile service attaches the user id to it and then sends it back to the gateway service and then gateway service sends this back at a com as a complete object that's what the order uh, call does so for the profile call uh, we are just asking for the profile to give us a current user who is logged in so right now we are not as we are not using, using any authentication we are just sending the fake user back so this is a fake user which we are which we have which we have hard coded into the uh, server so that's what we are getting there so this is like i want to show what, i mean i wanted to show how what's the role of gateway and how gateways actually work so i think this actually depicts what uh, how like gateway handles and why is i mean why gateway is important in microservices that's it for this video and uh, yeah thanks for watching do subscribe share and like this video and yeah see you in the next video